One effect of the so-called Great Recession of 2008 and 2009 is that it highlighted the economic fragility of Caribbean states. So deep were the effects of the crisis that the Caribbean today has still not been able to overcome the negative effects and return to sustained economic growth. Growth, for the most part, has been low across the region, below 5% on average everywhere except the Dominican Republic. Concomitantly, deficits have been high and public debt high and indeed unsustainable. Average gross debt is 72% of GDP for the region as a whole, making the Caribbean the most heavily indebted region in the world and Jamaica with a debt to GDP ratio currently at 122% of GDP is the most highly indebted in the Caribbean, followed by Barbados with 105% debt to GDP ratio in 2015 numbers and Antigua and Barbuda 104% again using 2015 numbers. As a consequence of this high debt the investments have, been, have slowed. The resources have been diverted to debt repayment as distinct from uh, capital investments necessary to sustain growth. And thus, growth has been weak. Concomitantly, unemployment has been high, averaging 13.5% region-wide, and poverty levels have been unacceptably high. In many respects, Jamaica was a microcosm res reflecting this wider Caribbean reality. To that extent, the solutions sought and found by Jamaica, I think, bear some relevance for the wider Caribbean. What these solutions were and the measures taken involved, first of all, eliminating budgetary deficits and running effectively a balanced budget from 2013 onwards. The debt reduction, which, was in turn which in turn necessitated high primary surpluses, uh, approximating 7.5% of GDP through 2013 to 2016, now at 7%. Extensive tax reform, which among other things reduced rates and extended the base on which GCT was applied and reduced effective corporate tax rates, as well as involved extensive reforms of the customs legislation, which removed duties on most productive inputs and enhanced also uh, depreciation allowances on investment. Other legislative reforms to make it easier to do business included, among other things, secured interest in personal property, streamlined tax administration, and enhanced autonomy for the tax administration authorities. Since implementing these reforms, I think the record will show Jamaica's debt has moved steadily downward Growth has returned and gathered momentum steadily. Unemployment has declined, though it still remains at unacceptably high levels. And poverty levels, which are currently at approximately 20% of households, is still unacceptably high. This situation needs addressing sharply and indeed quickly. Mm -hmm.